Hello people, I won, depending on who's watching. Hey Mick. How's the sound? Groups. No reason. Hey David. Not so much feeling a little bit better. But feeling heavy. <laughs> I was down to my 70, 74 kilos. Jump into the chat, please. Good evening, fellas. I did. You guys race this course yet? I raced it. I did some laps after I raced the city to skip whatever it is. I think the other day. Looks I'm like not, it's going to be a good course. I'm not entirely sure if the first time I'll go to that sector will be the fastest because we come from a slightly different direction. Yeah. And we won't yeah. have power ups. I think it's, it's a downhill run for that second part of the cross section. So we'll probably come in for that second climb pretty hot. Yeah, there's a slight little slight. uphill on the lead in and, and it flattens can. out. So fresh legs though. Yeah. Yeah. David, you're yeah, right. Can you hear me? Sure yeah, that's for I'm sure. sure. <laughs> I was having mic issues. Am I really allowed now? 
<laughs> just smell it really loud. That's too exciting. <laughs> cool. Alright, I'll tell you down on my end so you can keep the same settings. I should be able to flip it down. Hey, there we go, mate. Improv. I think yeah, you get, mate. yeah, you get sort of between loud and not loud. But it doesn't really matter with this course. We're nah. all going to be <laughs> just basically doing what we can. Um, there are some like street sort of time sections or something, are there? Yeah, so. Just one. Uh, That's Josh. I'll let you know when we're coming to it. That's Jay talking now, but Josh. Little punchy climb. Strong. Uh, around the back side of the course. That's coming back from COVID. Yeah, you know, see, we do that. Do we do it like three or four times? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure, Scott. We've got Josh Harris. I think oh, Benny Hill. Ben on the first one. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be pretty hot that first one. Ben Hill, fresh off his break or for a Trying to close down the yeah, boy. Howdy. What? Um, oh, I haven't even looked. What's that, mate? What's the course tonight? Scotland. Rolling Please. Islands. Rolling Islands. Anything I need to know? No. It's just a rolling course to do three laps. Hey, Grim. Comes back on itself a couple of times. What we do with a cross section, and there's one. Uh, it's got a time segment, which is just a little punch that flattens out uh, over the top, really, of that punch. So, yeah. uh, if you've got an arrow or anything like that, then just take a close up cam going. To use it. Not much sweat at the moment. And a sprint point as well, I'm assuming? No, so that's it, just the one. Just the one. Going. Okay. Yeah, which is long, every lap long or multiple times a lap. How long does the climb go for, time? Uh, Minute, maybe? Okay, there's yeah. shortage. Yeah. Nice to end it. I just noticed Josh has the beer, so that's just, that puts me in the bin, so that's okay. <laughs> sort of steeper in the first half, but it's. Yeah, right. Oh, it's still Wines as well. Yeah. Who we got? Benny, Nate, is it? Yeah. 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 And Josh. I don't know if you've met Josh. I don't think I have. Yeah. Hi. Right. And Mark will be out there somewhere. Just yeah, the Mick. Couch. Thing is, it's not my permanent. Oh, shirt. okay, right, okay. So I don't think there's too much to it. Yeah, sure, it's exactly. And yeah, Mark's on the front line there. Yeah, no, see him. Yeah, cool, cool. Back back in essence. All right, all right. Have fun, boys. Well, well, thanks uh, for having me. We'll see how much I try. Five <laughs> k yeah. lead in or something like that. Seven k lead in. Yeah. Good one, lead in anyway. Here we go, guys. Oh, I forgot to put the recorder. Oh, I ain't winning this. Do records on my phone, which is if I could. There's also my camera. Thank you, Jay. And Sherwin. Thank you, Sherwin. No. Who's he riding for? With Mickey G. Ah, of course he is. <laughs> wow. I've seen it all now. Yeah. Probably Mick. Oh. I'm going out the back door. The Lord just sent us to you, so. Jesse Riley, he'll win all the sprints. <laughs> oh, Matt. <laughs> As the Israeli play. That's amazing. Yep. Oh, even yep. better. Oh, King of the Juniper. That's <laughs> oh, so good. It's a nice start to this course. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, it is. It's a good course. Good race course. Good come well. Making this one. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is the only course in Scotland that I've actually ridden. <laughs> I do know this one. Yeah. Oh, that's a start. It's good. Yeah, we'll be out the back on the first. Yeah, uh, you'll be right, mate. Good. Yeah, I'll be out as good as I do when I get dropped on the second street. <laughs> Just got to beat that by one. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Alright, I've got a feather. Oh, yeah, yeah try it. Yeah. It climbs, starts at 4.5 and finishes at 5.1. Alright, oh, that's good coming here. Saka smashing it at the front. This is hotter than you, Wolf, man. Break here. There's got one Masaka, one WMZ, I think. Or is it a BL13? Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. Not down hill, though. Another Masaka. We'll see if anyone bridges across. Don't say there's a small kicker at 2.8. Right, yeah. Better to fly out that way, so we'll see how fresh <laughs> these legs are. Not a mighty. Not feeling it. It's sort of strung out, but it's nice in the pack. Oh, it's not good back here. I've been yo yoing the whole way. Yes, it's the new draft. Once you're off yeah. the back, it's very hard. I was going to ask that. Is it updated? Because it definitely feels like it. Yeah, it's definitely Maybe different than what it was. On Sunday. Night. And it's a lot up. of watts to get back in. All right, yeah. so we've got the little hill just here. Yep, I got. That one's going. Yeah, it's actually good enough. Hey, you know. Might be super tuck on the back of this hill. At least it's not too long of a course overall. Yeah. Well, we're done with it in 40 minutes. Yeah. That's just me to find. Had it been a TT, I reckon it would have been a hard note. <laughs> I don't need that sort of stress on a Tuesday. <laughs> no, it's not. All right. Last minute notice, Here we go. Segment's coming after after these squiggles. We go past that fork in the road. Right. Yep. That's where the segment is. Right. Yeah. Thanks. the board for ninth. See that last. Oh. 
Yeah, he's got one of those. Jeans. I'm not a smart trader. Got a power meter, but not a smart trader. Uh, it is in my power, Scott. <laughs> I don't go anywhere in the last 200 minutes. Oh. Better good draft, though. Well, that up. <laughs> All right. That's the heartbeat of the course. Okay. That was hard enough. But Ben still got dropped. <laughs> Did he get back in? Yeah, he didn't. Uh, yeah. I think so, Swifty. It's not as bad as Lake Snapper, though. Yeah. yeah, it's about the same amount of time, but it's a different effort. Yeah, yeah that will go on 10 watts a kilo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Sherwin, 30 seconds off the bat. <laughs> Pushing on at the front. We get another banner. We do, don't we? That's a good time to use this. On his own, too. Who is it? Uh, oh, on the front, I don't know. It. Yeah. We're talking about a guy off the back. Yeah. He's a master's racer who's very, very aggressive. In a bad way. Yeah. To both cyclists and women at this team. Yeah, he's been banned for, from a racing from a few races to be uh, verbal abuse of commissaires and officials and other cyclists. Oh, sorry. Like a bit of an uphill drag here. Slowly a shit to the near the front. Move. So for those that don't know the course, follow this around, go back through the cut through, hang a lefty, you can go back up to the finish. Start okay. finish. Yeah. I was flat at 9.5. Yeah, super tuck along with somewhere. It gets after this. Isn't it? Heading into that castle climb. forward here. Back, bring it back.
Tom, Tom Sig went first to the line, or is it fastest time? Both. Both. Top 10 for fast, fastest three second for the whole race. You get multiple oh, okay, entries. Yeah. First yeah. at line, first each, each yeah. time it goes to Top 10. People blowing arrows from no one way. Yeah. Not the power up in one case. Looks like Sherwin's back in. Just better all on now. It's alright, next time I'll punch him. <laughs> Let me get a super tuck. Watch this. One. Oh, Remember that for next life. Another truck. Yeah. That was less than helpful on the phone. Alright. Sure, super tuck around here somewhere. Oh, I'm going to climb it. 12.2. It's a little safe to isn't it? I got hang. I'm looking at super tuck here. No. It's that short run. Fuck, 55. Oh. Oh, carry too much speed here. Climb at 13.6. They're punching it off the front, aren't they? They're trying. I tried a few moves on Sunday and, uh, 
yeah, it was very, very hard off the bat. It's got <laughs> Decent group off the back by the look of it. <laughs> yeah. 25 or so already off the back. Right. It's all scattered though. Yeah. What was that? It's scattered. Scattered. Right now, yeah. Bits. yeah, okay. Sure, too hard, yeah. I need to get to the front. <laughs> Draft there. Is that the momentum here? I'm guessing none of those flies um, picked up FALs on that lap. No. Couldn't see straight. I think it's about to get hard.
Uh, not too bad, James. How many points? I think I got one or two. Let Karen going. I'm kind of hoping for a feather. Fat bastard. Hey there. Feather. I got the arrow. That's what you wanted, David. Once I got time, definitely. To make time for it. Still a while to go. I'm going to use an arrow early on this climb. Give myself some legs. Yeah, castle climb at 21.6. Top. Yep, I got it. Hey, Use it to Use it to make the climb 10 seconds shorter. I reckon that's stupid to use at the top. I don't know, it's super tough. You lost my momentum. <laughs> Roll through, easy. Crazy here. Put the best spot.
Uh, here we go again, boys. I'm wet. I got some points on that. <laughs> so close. But top ten. <laughs> Get a super duck. Yes, David. I'll see David. Got to be in it to win it. There's so much energy at the bottom of that climb. If which punch much harder at the top. There's a big group on the front. Who's coming back there? How much work? Rolling course deal in a race as opposed to three. Yeah. Makes Breaking it good, up. but hard. Few riders off the front. See if they get organised. Yeah. Might punch through onto them. Yeah. Wait till after the descent. I'll bring her back. Chill here. I don't know why he races. Uh. Yeah, that we're just gonna let you go up the road. <laughs> this is why he does individual time trials. Who is it? Nick. Hello, Kicks. Oh, the front. <laughs> Nah, nah, and we welded it back together the last time he was in the front group. Oh, what do you think was going to happen? He's going to push a lot harder than that, doesn't he? Yep. Five watts a kilo ain't going to do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my drink before this hill. Going again.
Maybe Scott. But. I think aero bike with the disc wheel was the wrong choice for this course. <laughs> I'm on the That's Scott on. with the, yeah, um, he's got Worlds, doesn't he? Where's the go-to? No, he's training that power. he got Worlds coming up. Can be on this climb. He's in for a lot of hurt. Come worlds. I'm unfit. 78 kilograms. Half the training I used to do. I get battered against these guys. Fuck you, David, I need a rest. There you go, what are we, what are we worried about? Let's see what we're Perfect time in that one. Dig it right. Not a good time to be caught. <laughs> One final kick.
Ja, das war's. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. I should have done what I did the first time in the draft. And with the all right, use it at the bottom to save the legs, sit in the pack. Because everyone uses the, the power-ups to drive away from me. It's all right though, Pinpoint points are shit. I don't think I would have got top 20. Anyway. Cheers, Swifty. I was pretty down the last lap. Oh, there's a great champion Warner. I'm going to go across to the Pride Scotland. Rolling Highlands route, Tony almost to cruise around with 280 other people. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> How'd you guys go? Nah. Great. Had a couple of power dropouts in our last sprint. I mean, I wasn't anywhere near the front. Thanks, Benny Hill, John yeah. Bowles, Hockey Man. Group one, rolling Highland. Yeah. Quickly. Great I didn't finish, apparently. Good. I can see how crap it was. Right, next time I'm like, Tron, not this kid. Yeah. So you, were you on the Tron or not? No, I was on this kid. Oh, I showed you on my screen on the Tron. <laughs> the, um, I stuffed up, I used the arrow, I mean, yeah, the arrow the first time I got it at the bottom of the climb to make it easier. Yeah. yeah. That was the way to go. Yeah, that's what I did then. That was the easiest sprint of the lot. Yeah. I said it was okay. The truck was useless. Oh, that's yeah. all I got. I got one feather and six trucks. <laughs> I used the arrow at the end, but the problem was I lost a few wheels. So by the time you use the arrow, you've lost the draft yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. When I saw everyone else popping, there's a pop line because otherwise you're out the back. Yeah. I thought I was much stronger than I was. I'd just be like, I can keep up with them, no worries. <laughs> and then I'll blow by with my arrow and wave. <laughs> Yes, I was doing 12 watts a kilo with the feather and people were still rolling past me. Like, yeah. molly. It's a tough one. Oh. Tough one with that feather too because it's not very steep for very long, so you've only got like 10 seconds of the feather being useful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's more about rolling it out after you've come over the It'll accelerate. Yeah, or even just getting to the top and just trying to get to the line before people overtake you. Because yeah. you kind of speed up as you get to the top, so the, yeah. the gap looks smaller than it really is. I think I got... Did you see what I did? <laughs> what? On uh, the third time round, I thought someone said 21.6 for the com, for the climb. Yeah. And I, I just went all out for it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no one else is sprinting. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it was the climb before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the little 270 yeah, degree. Five seconds off the front and absolutely fucked. <laughs> Break away. At least you can say you tried. Uh, I wish it was my intention to break away. I wish I felt that strong, but. <laughs> 
god. You should have you should have posted about the welding crew. <laughs> Hey, hey, with that core team, I went to Scotland and I'm riding um, five, five laps. What's that, mate? I'm going to jump out of that ride to a race. Right, enjoy the race. Well, I won't, but I figured it might as well make it into like a um, a one minute effort session because I'm not going to do a duck tonight oh. anymore. There's Josh. So five laps. Five laps. I had a Josh go. I was racing on Saturday. I don't even know what time the race is. In China, he's right. Off we go wrong. Oh. What, happened, what happened to Josh? I'm not seeing him on the results. Josh, um, Harry, not Josh, Josh. Yeah, really off went haywire up front. Yeah, well, when, he, when we caught him, he, I think he disappeared off the back. So that's had a dropout when we caught him. Because I never saw him come back through. Oh, that's that's good. Before the world's having a drop out, only kick a six. Yeah, you give me a lot of confidence. Do it, Javon. Yeah. yeah, I was waiting for him to come back past me, and there was no red dot drifting off the back, so I never saw him come back past. Rage quit. Gotta watch your stream. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you hit the roof. <laughs> what time's the race for the world? Do you know? I think it's like 5 a.m. or something. Like, really right. quite early. Is it in Launceston? Has he? I think he's I'm sure they're just doing them one after another again. Like the. Premier League thing. Yeah. It'll be interesting that first race. I did it twice on Sunday. Um, it kind of suits me. I'm bloody rubbish at the moment. What? what? The, what the first it? Is first it? worlds. The one we just did then up that climb. The finishes yeah. on that climb. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how that goes for Josh. Because I think it's going to be close. It's a top 30. Probably yeah. just a little bit short for Josh. Yeah. Yeah, it's really going to suit the punchy the Japanese riders. riders. <laughs> and them as well, yes. Absolutely smashed it was, um, what's his name? I forgot what his name is now, but he absolutely blew it up there. I did other time zones, but it wasn't as strong. Basically, the time zone Josh and I did it in was the Americans and the Europeans, the top riders. Yeah. Then I did the next time time slot. So the first time time slot I got 60th, got blown yep. away. Second one I think I got 22nd or something. Yeah. Um, it was a lot, a lot weaker field. But that um the world champ from a few years ago, the raw, he blitzed it. Yeah. He won the three races in a row. Easy has. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of the the climb. City is to scare and scare. Uh, I'm not. I did it. <laughs> when, when I did it, we thought you just went up and down it. Like up, down, back around, then come back to the... Okay. But you've got to go no, back no. up again. Yeah. Yeah. Just a nice solid climb to hold power on. I did it with uh, Damiano. Uh, Damiano was it Evo? I mean, it can cause a vivo and um, uh, yeah, guys, sorry guys, um, Victor, Victor Campanaz, so I just, yeah. just rode a group of 10 and then Victor kept on going. So I was chatting to him, I did another couple of ups and downs with him. I'm like, oh, how well, go? it's, it's like the world hours. chances. I'm like, you got to down here for three hours? Move to the neutralized bikes, but grab a light, okay. If you can hang on. Yeah, Victor's so strong, but he plays Zwift really badly when I've watched him. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's... Well, he has. Okay. I think he's so strong that he's like, oh, I'll just let those guys go. But then he's wondering why yeah. no one else is working with him. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. realise the strong rise have gone down the road. <laughs> well, him... He was in the Belgian kit, and 
Positivo was in the Italian kit, so I wonder if they're doing well. Yeah, they suppose that what what races on this weekend? If they've got nothing on, they might as well jump in. Yeah. Yeah. Without they have the kit, it's unless they were racing. Yeah. They're the sort of riders who would jump into it because they enjoy that sort of freedom yeah. in their teams to do other yeah. things. Positive Evo won't make it out of the first round. <laughs> there ain't no way. He's finished in top oh, that, 30. That's right. He doesn't have to defend, have to defend them. Not... Yeah. It was Vujasung. I remembered his name. Vujasung yeah. absolutely demolished us all. Yeah. It's the perfect climb for him because it's kind of, it's a bit like, um, oh, so the New Zealand rider, what's his name? Um, so bad with names, I'm too old. Um, New Zealand guy that used to always whiffed all the time. He used to race against Jay Vine all the time. Uh, anyway, but Fuji's son is a perfect sort of person for that first race. He's not too light, but he's got good sprint. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Huh? How was it? Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> fun. <laughs> got around. You get the hills and stuff. You got 20th though, Mark, that was pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. It's a tough bloody way to oh, finish. No. Did, did anyone get any um, prime points? Nope. <laughs> no. Any what point? Crimes. Oh, like FAL. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I got top ten in the second one. Nice. Maybe, mm. but I lag a little bit, so I was probably twenty. I was. I, there was a one where I was like, oh, I'm I'm ninth, I'm tenth, I'm ninth, I'm tenth. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> there was like four riders around me, and we're all fighting for that one spot. <laughs> Was that a uh, breakaway attempt, Wilson, or did you get the segment mixed up? <laughs> yeah, I got mixed up. I thought it was the main climb. <laughs> like on the climb before. Yeah. <laughs> it's confusing how the map changes, huh? Hey? Yeah. And it was just like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the zip out of the league. Yeah, we'll yeah. See you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I used it all up and got like five seconds off the front and then it's like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst spot to be on the front. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it was, there was no, no hope I was staying on when I, like, I there already used it all. Because you come down that hill and you get a run up and then you turn off before the segment. Yeah. That's well, what I did on the first lap. Yeah, well someone, I heard someone say when the climb was, and I must have heard it wrong. I thought it was, I thought they said 21.6. Yeah. So no. it came up and went for it. And yeah, he was just telling us like, where, the, where the punch was, so we didn't get yeah. dagged off the back. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, it started about a kilometre later. It was a good lead out for us that we didn't follow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't really make mistakes like that. <laughs> That's all right. It's kind of funny to laugh at. We'll, we'll think about that for like the next 10 seasons now. We'll, we'll never remember the result. <laughs> oh. yeah, we so when March are we, when's the next first. race? Is that? Uh, March the 7th or something is the finals. Yeah, right. Is it on the same day or are they doing that stupid thing where they're making it a Saturday? No, it's a Tuesday. Oh, good. So March the 7th is Tuesday. So, so we're, we're in that. Yeah, so we should be in the top uh, going for the cup if they run the same way they did last time. All right. Whereas the main arrow guys will be in the bottom one. I'll see. Funny. I think I'll miss one because cool. no, I, I think in three or four weeks I'm back on late. So I yeah. might miss either the. Probably, I'll miss, definitely miss one. I'm not sure if I miss the second semi or the, the final TTT. Yeah. Final TTT. What a terrible way to finish. What? It'd be interesting because we won't be able to have Josh. Will we have enough well, we riders? Well, we had to have Josh because he was in for the first three seasons. Oh, no, I mean, seasons. Josh Wilson, uh, not, not Harry. Oh, no, no. Sorry. So we will have Josh because, oh, no, because Josh qualified for the 
Premier Division team, didn't you? Did you do all these races? Did he qualify as a racer? Yeah, I'm sure he one. can choose. And then, yeah, I suppose we'll see what we've got. Yeah. I wonder how much. I wonder how much they actually check. It's like thousands and thousands and thousands of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except the problem is that you're risking the whole team DQ. Yeah. yeah. You forgot like three, but like our stuff it, just do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming. This, this is my fourth race, but it's split two on the last yeah. round and two in this round. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't done yeah. Yeah. You. I'm you've assuming got to, they're going to do it like last year, with the. Yeah. Players, uh, top half goes onto the next round. The bottom half goes into the the mm. bowl or the the plate, and so on and so forth. Yeah, um, a little soon. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be fighting for the cup for very long. And the first round's weird. It's a like a distance thing. It's so an it's, individual time trial. Yeah, I hate those. Oh. You know, I want a spot. Wow. <laughs> Up and down. I don't think I yeah. How many have I done, Jay? One? Yeah, no, it's, it's from all three seasons. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So, so the three seasons were three rounds. Seasons rounds, I don't know what I was calling it. They're all for the this one final. Oh. So they'll put together the points. I'm just assuming here, because I can't see them doing it any other way. Yeah. They'll put together the points from the three rounds, the three series, yep. and then that'll make your, your finals table, and then they'll split that in half. Bottom half will go fighting for the shield, top half will go fighting for the cup. Yep. I wonder how they'll do the points for the Division 2 teams that joined our division. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, make it difficult. Yep. Either way, someone's going to have a winch. <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah. what they do. Yeah. It'll be, like It'll be Nick. Before the race. It'll be Nick because they'll be fighting for the plate and we'll be fighting for the for the cup. Yeah. And then when you're the second or the first half, that we'll go against the Americas and whoever else is in our general time. Oh, yeah. Sanity, I'm assuming. Um, Top half will keep on going for the cup, bottom half will go for the plate, whatever it is. Yeah. And the finals, the time trial. Team time trial. Time trial. I'm not looking forward to the time trial. Yeah. I quite enjoyed that climb. We kind of suited my power. Again, yeah. So I was quite comfortable all the way up, but then when I got guys doing six watts a kilo <laughs> around me, that maybe that that'll be something different. That climb, the real key in that climb is to get that momentum at the bottom. And just yeah. Trying, just trying to hold something in the legs for when the second half starts. Yeah. And not sprinting at the friggin' castle, or getting five seconds off. <laughs> <laughs> And the twelve percent punch up the back uh, backside. Yeah, they lose so much momentum up there. Yeah, oh. Mars, Je Jesse Riley came third. It was oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> quite a knob. <laughs> I ride outdoors with Jackie a fair bit, and um, yeah, I can drop him, no problem, and I'm not even that good. <laughs> oh well, at least we got rid of the Sherman hater and the... Hey, yep. What happened to him? Oh, you know, Drop him. <laughs> Drop him. Drop Dopey. Good times. Yeah. As we should. Yeah. Which that's the irony, but we don't can't drop Jesse. <laughs> anyway.
yeah, my partner. Um, so you go, you go. I was going to say my partner Whitney. She's always been telling me to get fatter. So I'm up to 78 kilos now. Now she's like pulling the ice cream away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the mum. Um, yeah, I've had some issues with my my bike in the last week or two. It's putting out really low power, yeah. and um, and it happens every now and then. And you have to. It's due to firmware upgrades, but they don't tell you about them. So stages, because I'm on a stages bike, SC20. So what you need to do is you need to go into the Stages Link app and um, sync your bike and then download a firmware upgrade, which is fine, but then it fucks your power meters. So then you've got to go into the Stages Power app, which is a completely separate app, which won't connect to your bike, but will connect to your power meters, and then performance zero reset. But to do that, you've got to link both the power meters together and then you can perform a zero reset and then you need to unlink them in order for them to read independently. Oh, it's a nightmare. And even still, my right power meters have not drop out. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. They're there and I'm customer service is terrific. So. I was like, I remember when we did a round of a few series ago and you were talking about the issues you had. I was thinking about that when I saw the Zwift Insider posting up. Yeah, every now and then, like probably about once a year, it just has these major heart attacks. And uh, the one time I did get onto customer services, a helpful guy who did help me figure out that whole process. And now I've just got to remember it once a year on how to get everything working again, but still having glitches and I'm not sure how to rectify it with that. It does seem a pain in the ass. It's bad enough having one thing that can drop out of it. You've got two power meters on different connections. Then you've got yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. I can because I can monitor each power meter individually, and yeah, so I'll go left leg and just pedal zone one easy. So, and it'll be registering you know 120 watts fluctuates by five to ten watts at the most within a minute. Yeah, same cadence. But then on the right leg, it can be fluctuating like nearly up to 30, 40 percent um, drops. Never surges, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it fluctuated over what I was putting out but you know it'd be like 120, 130 yeah. and I dropped to 96 and uh, yeah very unusual behaviour but anyway. So when you're on Zwift does it show one connection or does it show two? So when it yeah, gets weird so if I'm on Zwift I can connect to just the left power meter and that's like riding stages you know for I mean a you know for example or a stage yep. is left power crank, yep. it'll read it and then double it. But um, what I do on here is because it's a smart bike, you connect to the stage's bike on this. And, um, and it's meant to combine both power meters into the one output and the one div one Bluetooth transmitter. Uh, okay, so it connects bike. two of them to your bike and then your bike sends it to the bike. Yep. And then the bike, because the bike functions as the um, controllable trainer as well. So then it obviously it's easier to match, you know, when you hit your resistance and stuff, it's doing the auto auto braking for the incline and stuff. But um and it picks up cadence and all that sort of stuff as transmitted through the one device as opposed to just using the left hand cadence or whatever, you know. So I'm not sure what happens in the middle there. Yeah. There's a funny thing with um Asioma Uno's is it for Zwift you've got to do the right setting or it doubles the power. Some people, you ride outdoors and you've got to change the setting and then you get back on your bike. And you yeah. don't have the right setting, you ride around. Yeah, exactly. 1,200 watts. Because <laughs> when I first started Zwifting, I had a Stages left-hand crank on a Le Mans trainer. And um, <laughs> that was a very long time ago. And um, Still the best trainer by a long way. <laughs> imagine trying, way to, imagine trying to do a Discord in it though. You'd be like, hey, everyone, how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, I couldn't believe the kicker when I got a kicker. A, um, yeah, Gen One. I was like, this is like silent. <laughs> yeah. I've got a Gen One that's definitely not silent. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Mine's still going, just. Yeah. Um, do, do you like the stages overall? Like, would you overall? Like overall, it's bomb proof. Like, I've had it since 2020. 
And, um, yeah, it's just bulletproof. So, like I said, once a year. It chews through power batteries um, in the crank. Mm. So probably about four times a year I have to change the batteries in the crank, mm. which is a bit disappointing. Um, they're the CR2032s. I wonder, is that because it's the, the bike never really turns off, maybe? It must be, like, yeah. I can, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, because that's the other thing. Because it's all Bluetooth, I, um, like, I've got my iPad or my phone or my watch or my Garmin. It's only on my bike. It's only time I turn something on. It's probably picking up a signal from the bike as well until I leave the house, you know. So it's probably yeah. always transmitting. I found that, right. yeah, I found that with my Polar H10. Sometimes yeah. if I leave my app going, even if yeah. I take it out, off my heart rate monitor, I'll yeah. check the next morning and it's still connected. <laughs> like, oh shit, I better disconnect it. Yeah. yeah. But I don't okay. see ways of disconnecting. Yeah. No, yeah, we, at work, we had the Polar H10s. So we chew through the batteries. I guess every yeah. couple of weeks, you, you're changing yeah. someone's battery. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mine lasts for a long time, but I just got to make sure I disconnect it from the app or I turn the app off. Otherwise, yeah, yeah mm. it'll just keep picking it up unless I leave the house. Mm. But yeah, Pretty when everything dark. runs on Bluetooth these days, like you can't just switch switching stuff off to save one battery. Yeah, it's yeah. not functional like that. But yeah, I see what you're saying. I do love my yeah. H10 though. Like I've had my H10. I bought my Wahoo Bolt and my H10 at the same time. My Wahoo yep. Bolt had the cushiest life indoors, basically. And it died before my H10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My H10's been sweating all, all over the place. So I remember you asking me about this bike back in 2020 or 21, mate. I think yeah, you yeah. To get some heavy duty rollers on here or something. Yeah, and we've, I mean, things got stalled, and then when we got back onto it, they, the suppliers didn't have any in the country, but I literally got a quote for, through from them today saying, okay, we can actually do it for you now. So we've just sort of yeah. got to decide whether we go ahead with it. I, I think we will. Yeah. yeah. Oh, in terms of, like, structural integrity and longevity, these have survived the harshest gym environments for sure. Like, you yeah. know, they're 72 kilos. You can't move them. The bars, everything is fucking... Yeah, there's a little bit of flex in the bars, you guys might find, mm. um, but not not like a carbon fibre flex. It's just, no. yeah, okay. film up tight and, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, cool. yeah. so we'll probably do it. They, they're, all the reports are there awesome. Like what you're saying yeah. about the the, um, the batteries and the cranks is the only real negative thing I've heard about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I might, well, might well get one myself. Like they're, they're quoting us yeah. about four grand per bike, oh, yeah. so... That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, yeah we bought so, ten of them, so so yeah. I probably will say, oh, could you, could I do a one more to me <laughs> at that price? <laughs> Can we get a, a master sponsorship? <laughs> we could display them coming mid pack every race. Yeah. Yeah. It's either that or the kicker too, but I don't yeah. think they're in the country. Yeah. No, and they don't seem very sturdy. Right. And these, yeah. No, and the size yeah. of the opposite, how much power they're probably going to withdraw. Yeah, I oh, know, I was more thinking for me that, like... Yeah, still, yeah. you're a unit. <laughs> it's been interesting watching the kicker sixes with the Premier Division riders who are dual recording. There's a little bit of issues, I reckon, with the kicker six. Some riders having, like, lots of power and then a lot less power, ride to ride. That um, guy that kicks my ass in the tiny races, one race it was like 6% down, and then the very next race it was back to 2% difference. Yeah, yeah, it's a dangerous ploy bringing out a new system for a big, big race. Yeah. So what are you what are you concerned about with that? Is it the Wi-Fi or no? Like it just no, it just seems a, to be the the, the spin it'd down. Be a software. Like, the auto auto calibration just seems to be really random. Yeah. Oh. Right. Yeah, so if you look at a few of the big the big guys who dual record all the time, they just have kicker sixes or whatever. And then you look at the, I mean, the kicker fives and they look at kicker sixes. There seems to be a lot more variation, there's a lot more mumbling about it. It's not as bad as the um the hammers, the H fours that came out <laughs> and they're basically right. covered. So what, is, what have they done? They've changed the, the calibration method, have they? Well, um, they, I'm not sure, but they've yeah, they've they must have updated the firmware because they've got the Wi-Fi system now. 
but mm. they must have done something to the calibration slightly different, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be consistent like the Kicker 5. I wonder if it's when they put it in race mode, if it's doing something to it. Well, they're not allowed to use race mode for worlds, they say, so you could be right with that. Because yeah. it's supposed to fix up the power quicker. I wonder if it's shifting it as well. It's picking it up too much or not enough. Yeah, something definitely something going on because I forgot what his name is, something Leeson. But not, there's two Leesons, yeah. basically the strongest yeah. one. Yeah. His, his power was rubbish on one of the races. Like it was, it was below what he should be doing, so at least it's better. But it's, well, it's inconsi it from, inconsistencies. Uh, a track rider's perspective, a one-second refresh rate is not enough. No. Yeah, but this is like 20-minute power, like 6% down in 20 minutes, which you'd think yeah. that, that's not good enough for a train that's supposed to be plus or minus 1% accuracy when it goes from 6% to 2%. And it's on mm. the same, he's using the same power meter against Kicker 5. So, yeah. But I'll be. I'm gonna. Hopefully, at Worlds they put a lot of the riders put their um, dual records up somewhere so we can have a look. But yeah. I think with Worlds because they do like a separate server or something, we won't have access to it. Interesting. Back on the um the stages like that, Nate, mm. which they'll probably cover as a, you know end of user agreement sort of thing, but in a gym environment, you've got to keep them really well ventilated. And then I use like a, um, that's a gimmick, it's like muck off sweat protect, it's a spray. It literally just mm. smells like double D, WD-40 to water the mm. surface. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <I've had laughs> it's a gimmick. Not a yeah. muscle or anything I've rusted since I started yeah. using that. Yeah, because as you know, the sweat in yours and even with the fan, Pretty corrosive, so I keep mine pretty well wiped down and and sprayed to keep it from yeah, rusting. Right. Yeah, and gyms have the worst ventilation as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like they don't use ventilation to make everyone think they're hard. Yeah. The trouble is though, you've you've paid good money for your own personal bike, so you look after it. I yeah. don't pay, pay for anything, so they don't give a shit. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you need to put on a gimp who just goes around spraying and wiping the machines at the end of every session. Just so you don't lose your investment in one year for us. For us. Yeah. Yeah, right. Would it be that bad, do you think? Well, yeah. I mean, I... Yeah, in the first lockdown we ever had, it wasn't um, wasn't that cold. Well, it wasn't that hot, sorry, so I didn't put my fan on much. Remember, after about a month, I just noticed rust appearing on everything on my bike, hanging yeah. on the walls and the wheels, and not on the stages like per se, it was all painted and everything, obviously. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of spots I've missed on the bike with the sweat protect stuff. And I can see a little bit of rust falling on a couple of bolts and things. So um, I don't know. I, I'm not overly concerned about it. But, you know, like you said, the amount of thrashing those guys are going to give it with no care would be worth just. I would be keeping an eye on it like any good equipment, you know. So do you reckon spray it once a week or it has to be every day? Yeah. Probably not. I won't. Depending on the wipe down, I use a lot of towels and stuff on mine as I ride to vent, prevent water pooling. And I also bought, um, there's a lot of screw sort of holes and points where the, all the fairings connect. And mm. I bought, um, you know how you can get like frame protect stickers? Mm. Yeah. I just got little, little black circular ones. And anywhere there was a screw, I stuck these stickers over the top of them. Um, to prevent sweat pooling in them. Mm. Um, that's just me being a bit anal, that it's definitely yeah. worth. Because you know what it's like. Yeah. You, you go for a one year to check over the bike and every single screw and Allen key is just, you know, white with corrosion. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen that on the watt bikes plenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a good place so to I save do. money, but it's not so good for long term. That's right. Anyway, just, just yeah. little things I did because it was an investment for me, like you said. They won't care, but anyway, yeah, you probably but, got um, they won't. Spot. They won't care, but you know we need to get we need to get four or five years out of these things. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you have to put in like, um, cleaning cleaning contracts for your cleaners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just can't. I mean, I'm not sure what else out there would be better, but that's the, the struggle. Well, in terms of longevity and, and 
build quality, I've got to say, if this didn't last for five, ten years, you'd be pretty upset because it's, it's like a battle yeah. tank. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. No, it's good points. Just have to get on to them about cleaning it. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, so sorry about that, Mark Off stuff. Yeah. That's it. The Mark Off brand. Yeah, Mark Off. Uh, Wet protector. Yeah, right. Okay, we're going to go. Sweat protector. Mine is called yeah. well, Mark Off Bike Protector. Uh, bike Protect. Yeah. Um, and it's, the can's lasted me two years already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I tell yeah, you what, though, you spray it on. It's 100% like WD-40, though. Yeah, 100%. Product, yeah, it's no, probably yeah. a slightly different smell. It's just water dispersion. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just spray it down all the all the bolt holes and then the whole frame. Yeah, and this bike's been on there for a long time now. As have the Bianchi, and yes, the Bianchi is steel. And it's got some paint and rusting from... Yeah. However long it's been around for since yeah, right. 2005. Um, but yeah, none of the bolts on the track are even slightly rusty, and yeah. there's no white crap on anything. And yeah. so yeah, no, I'll just spray the whole lot because I'm not taking this bike outside ever. I just yeah. go hell for leather; it's just breaks and everything. Um, so you do that after every ride? Yeah, once a month, at the most. Oh, once a month. Okay. Yeah, I give it. Yeah. I give it a good good dousing though. It's saturated yeah. where I finished with it. I just let it dry overnight. Yeah. Okay. Now, interesting. My um, I've got like a 2000 model giant TCR zero carbon, yeah. uh, carbon thing, which is falling apart eventually. <laughs> like it, they start it is, Oh yeah. Like my bottom bracket's gone again, but everything's <laughs> rusted. Like the bolt, the bolts for attaching the the bottom it's got, on it's the like the RGT have thing yeah. come away the, like the, the, th- the internal threads come away from the car RGT steer is where my it, like oh, it's yeah. just my towel guys <laughs> but it's only used on the train I can't use the RGT yeah. steer they like copper beating the worst yeah. Yeah. yeah so yes, the steel Bianchi would still be on there if I hadn't snapped the down tube <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to limp this through until we get a proper bike at home yeah. and then uh, this will get turfed <laughs> yes don't get a steel bike on a trainer, they don't like, <laughs> no. they don't like the, the talking left and right. What happened when the down tube snapped? Were you on it? Uh, no, I've noticed in the ride that there was a lot of flexing going on on the frame. I'm like, oh, that's not right. So I got off and I'm like, oh, it looks right. Gave a bit of a wiggle and the bottom, right down near the bottom bracket, that opened up so about three centimetres, four centimetres above the bottom bracket. I'm like, oh, that's mm-hmm. good. And I had a look around the whole thing, it's hanging on by a centimetre. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's no good. Yeah. So, because it's bore on steel, they can't fix it. Got one of those fancy so, bikes, not a triangle anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just hanging on the wall. Now I did artwork on the wall. So, <laughs> yeah, my headset's up. Yeah, mine is filthy. Got I had to take, take it off about a year ago and I couldn't, so I never bothered trying to take it off. No, yeah, I reckon the bottom bracket's coming away again. Like in, I can hear just creaks and all sorts of shit coming from it. So. <laughs> Nothing that's a bit of Loctite can't fix. <laughs> well, it might be beyond that. <laughs> you can get holds, it. It's a replacing okay. the bottom bracket. I just need to get around to doing it. Yeah. You can get screwing bottom brackets, which is in the, uh, which I've got on the track because the Madones and yeah. their TT bikes all use carbon fiber cups. Yeah. And after a while, they get a yeah. wear out section. And so the bottom yeah, bracket doesn't slip in properly. So yeah, you get screwing once instead. That yeah, no, this, screw, and that's well, this cool. one's, this is not so old, it's designed for the, for the threaded bottom bracket. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even that's going, you need to go a couple of mil bigger. You just need to bore it out like a good V8. Yeah. Free tap it and go again. <laughs> Just a whole tube of lock that. Is there anyone what about... making the kickers quieter, the version ones? Does anyone know? No. Buy, no sell way. it, sell it, and buy another one. <laughs> I've got... Yeah, I know. Well, we're just try, we're trying to limp it through to a bike. <laughs> I think maybe if you change the belt, because maybe if the belt's getting too worn out, yeah. I've got a kicker one. Yeah, they just both some belts that made no difference. Yeah, they're just loud. Mm-hmm. I've got, I've got a kicker one. I actually like the kicker one, but it's just so damn loud when oh, yeah, I'm streaming. 
beaming. Yeah, I you just... only like it because it gives you an extra 10% water. <laughs> that's yeah. What they do now. That's the other thing too. I couldn't use my trainer for power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I had to buy the fire because I'm like, this is not right. I am really powerful right now. <laughs> but they are Especially so noisy. Cold. Yeah, yeah. When they were cold, they used to just really tighten up. Yeah, yeah. But right. they, they yeah. do, they do feel great though. Like my Dorito's quieter and more accurate, but it just feels rubbish compared to the. Yeah, it was the best design. I've, I've ridden my mate Cap Neo two T, and uh, it's quite, very, very quiet, quiet by about half because it was the kicker. But um, this doesn't feel right. It feels a bit weird. Yeah, it's not as fun. Yeah, I think it's just the weight of the flywheel because the Doritos have got that a lot yeah. of flywheel, but they've got like the mechanism to make it supposedly a yeah. flywheel. But it just a, must doesn't be the have same. That. Must be the flywheel feeling because the Le Mans and then the Kicker One, the heavy flywheel makes it feel like you've got to wind it again. Whereas yeah, the Tax and the Elite just yep. and they don't have auto resistance. Mac doesn't yeah. feel natural. And they've got the stepper motors, so it takes a little while to react. Whereas the Kicker's just got the yeah. Magnus has clamped down straight on it. There ain't no easy section when you're on them on. <laughs> you got to keep that thing wound up. <laughs> you don't want to come from zero on that thing. Yeah. They were like gold during lockdown. Did you guys have one? You sell it during lockdown? Yeah, I've got one. I've got one sitting next to me. So, yeah. I've sold his for a freaking mint. Yeah, during lockdown, I was tempted to sell my kicker. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I, I could get a brand new kicker after lockdown if I sell my kicker now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, probably six months before lockdown, I bought a Gen 1 second hand for a mate for $650. And then, and it looked really brand new. And then I sold mine in lockdown for 1100 bucks. And it had done 23,000 kilometres. <laughs> there was desperate people, desperate times. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's half right. Well, that was a great thing. You imagine. Only reason. Me train us and now sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Only reason why I didn't sell it is because I was worried that my other trainer would break and then I'd be yeah. crying as I got to buy yeah. a $1,500 Gen 1. <laughs> Yes, you never have enough trainers. <laughs> it is a comforting feeling, actually, having one next to you when you. Because yeah. you remember yeah, remember well, that yeah. race that I, my my belt broke. <laughs> have a yeah, backup. Your yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Yep, my okay. belt broke. I was everything. Yeah, I uh, just jumped on the Le Monde and switched everything over, and off I went again. <laughs> yeah. That was a dumb idea. Everything is the stupidest thing ever. I thought That's the same. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really loved it. It, eh? it was a lockdown, it was wasn't it? Worse. That's such a lockdown thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mum was before lockdown, so I have no excuse. Yeah, and yours was in like February. Yeah. <laughs> mine, I did mine in August. Big, big lockdown. Yeah. One. <laughs> February in the shed. Jesus Christ, how hot was it? Uh, no, I actually got a really good day for it. So yeah, it was only low twenties. Not lucky. Yeah, and yeah. I had um, I had this sword on, and I had. You got you know, friction shifters. Oh yeah, because you got TT. The Scott. longest period I had without someone riding with me or chatting to me was about half the time, about half an hour, yeah. in the ten and a half hours. Yeah. And it just flew by. Even when you're in the paint, it's like you'd everyone else to be on the channel like this, just talking around you, and just take your mind off it. That's last. Yeah, that's what I like about Swift is you can be doing anything. Like I can be riding some bullcrap race somewhere and someone else is doing something else. We're still chatting together. Yeah. I'm on the Josh Josh Wilson breakaway climb at the moment. <laughs> It's a shame there's not a t segment on here. You'd get the KOM. <laughs> yeah. I hope they make Scotland bigger. It's a nice place yeah. to ride. 
they, the effort they've done, some of the roots um, through the forest, it's just a really nice vibe. Yeah. Very, they've done a yeah. lot of work. Hey, Vita. Very good. I won. I absolutely yeah. demolished them. I just gave up. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I did four watts a kilo and just rode away. I saw my name. And didn't want to show but Richmond is awesome as a call. But when they first released that, that was sterile. It was all get out. Made you yeah. depressed just seeing that. Riding in the bloody, you know, it felt like riding in the Bronx with all the industrial and the broken down buildings and. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, the other thing about Scotland too is that I don't think it's making everyone's systems stutter like they did with Nyoko. Yeah. yeah. A bit more simple. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. don't need 15 different fucking like, intersections where you get lost until you've ridden it for a year. Yeah. Some of them are harder to come around. Yeah, some, still some of the ones in Japan. I think. I don't like the shiny rays with no shadow. It just makes it look weird. I won't have a shadow on the bottom, under my bike. Unless it's night time. Under the bike, you mean? Yeah, like a shiny road, but there's no shadow, like no yeah. reflection of your bike on yeah. the road. Yeah. Yeah, simple but effective. It'll be interesting doing that climb so is there like a gravel section on this course on one side and then bitumen on the other? Yeah. I use the Tron, yeah, but so I. I think using the gravel, if you do it the way we did where you go up, you go up the dirt twice, it's interesting to see what you're like doing gravel, see if you can hold on on the other end. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's not many courses where at full gas the gravel switch is going to pay off. Very few. Well, you wouldn't switch though, you just start on gravel, just hold on to the get oh, to the climb. Like, yeah, and the, yeah, the yeah. thing is, the very first climb is gravel, so then you can yeah. you can either put Make the pain on the trons or at least have a rest, because the second climb, I'm pretty buggered, but then the third climb, you're back yeah, on the right. gravel again. But have it's not optimised it for gravel bikes though? It isn't. It was pretty, it was it, pretty quick on the trons. On the trons. I, I was going to say, if it was normal gravel, I'd definitely go gravel, but it's slightly different gravel, so it'd be interesting to see yeah. what the advantage is. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really notice the slowing. Yeah, it's that. Um, you know that we did that event ages ago. I forgot what it was, but they changed the gravel in the yeah. jungle. It was that yeah. gravel in the jungle or the Curry yeah. Island one here. No, yeah, the, ju the jungle. jungle. We did some weird grey gravel the jungle in the jungle. One. That's when like one of the hill boys went off the front before we got to switch our bike. And it was all over. No, no, like this was a different. Nah. Not CRL. It was a special. I forgot. Oh, what something it was else. Called. But they put they put different gravel in the jungle for a special event, oh. and it was faster than regular gravel. But they gave us yeah. gravel bikes. All right, they yeah. absolutely flew. No, but, I suspect it's a different one because they wouldn't want the gravel for the world. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna make the bikes neutralized because otherwise, yeah. some teams have yeah. certain bike manufacturers, and so yeah, they that. would be screwed. So the, yeah. the that makes sense. It'd be interesting. I'm sure there was something happened recently in one of the Prem Division races. They neutralized the bikes, but it meant. Oh, no, that's what. So they neutralized the bikes, but they neutralized the surface. So the climb's going to be a dirt, I mean, a, a bitumen climb, probably for the world, not a gravel climb. Yeah. No. Because you know how we did the um, Mercury Islands climb for ZRL? Yeah. The women went up there in Prem Division. They went like absolute clappers because it was a, it was a bitumen climb, not a gravel climb. Yeah. I don't know what my time was here. Where is it? 40 seconds. Get on 40. That. Yeah, 100 riders on that first course will be pretty interesting. It's going to get super strung out. Can't be 40 seconds. 42.86. Right, I'm going to leave you guys to it.
Quick, yeah. nice and slow. Seconds. Thank you. Nice. Must be the very first no, one. Yeah, it's pretty ordinary. We need to get some yeah. legs back. Get some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of weeks rest and relaxation. Yeah, yeah I, think, I don't think I'm unfit. I just just a tired, I'm tired. Just tired. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I've been feeling. I've got a virus and just feel run down. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you. Oh, well. Cheers. Good work. Yeah. Great Valentine's Day ride, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No one I'd rather spend it with. So. <laughs> it was, it was I romantic. Up, <laughs> I turned up to work this morning. Turned up to work this morning. There was a sh the outgoing shift was there, and there's a guy on that shift nobody liked. And um, there's about three people in the room, and um, one of them's a girl. And I came in. I was like, "Happy Valentine's Day!" And she goes, "Oh, you too." I said, "I wasn't talking to you." <laughs> I, was talking, I was talking to Andy. Who just hey. which yeah. Yeah. Nice while that in. yeah. Heartbreaker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. All right, see you guys. All right, good, good. Yeah, I've got arm. Um... Uh, I should go. After spending my Valentine's night with sweaty guys, puffing and puffing. <laughs>
Yeah, I better go. Better go and spend some time. Valentine's Day time. Yeah. Use it all. See you later. Happy Valentine's Day. Time.